What's going on guys? It's me, Mikey Pipes. Mikey Pipes. TGIF. Oh, TGIF. It is 2.30 in the afternoon, Friday afternoon. The other Mike was supposed to go on a quick little service call. A very, very good friend of mine has no hot water out of his 40 gallon gas fired water heater. I was like, oh, maybe it's a thermal couple. Worst case scenario, it's a gas valve. And sure enough, 2.10 o'clock, no, 2.10, 20 minutes ago, I get the phone call that, hey, Mike, you know what, you need a new water heater. I'm like, no, <laughs> no. Pay attention! Where the freaking green light, and people are still sitting there on their phones like this because they're not paying attention. So here I am, just left my house, on my way to go pick up the truck. I'm gonna go to Ferguson and Limbrook. I'm gonna pick up another 40 gallon AO Smith and I'm gonna help Mike put it in. And that's what friends are for. So if you're watching this, you know I'm talking about you, Ailey. Teep, teep. You all thought I was messing around with you, didn't you? You all thought I was messing around. Well, I got news for you. I wasn't messing around. I think that's six. What do you think, Mike? We're gonna use one dielectric union and then another dielectric union. Technically, this is fine. This is not. Cause that's brass, this is uh, copper. It is what it is. The cat's name, Mike. So a Polish family adopted one of the pussycats. Yes. <laughs> the kittens. And they thought the name was what? Mike. But they thought it was lovely? The cat's th name was lovely. Oh. So how is the cat's name Mike now? <laughs> because when I introduced myself to the husband, I said, Hi, how are you? My name's Mike. Oh, how are you? Oh, okay. Oh. What's the cat's name? Lovely. Oh, okay. <laughs> Remember, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you spray and neuter your animals. <laughs> Bob Barker signing off. <laughs> Let's take a look at this wildebeest. How old is this bad boy? Huh. Wow, that's incredible. I believe it's from 2014. Oh, no. That's no, MI. No, there's no way. Look at the ignition. Yeah. It's an older style, the original one. Oh, yeah. All that rust down in there. Wow. Wow. Uh, how many BTUs is this thing? It's 40,000, right? 40. Oh, so, that's not a bad stuff. No. This is the best. Hold on. Look, get more light, Mike. The silver. Oh, that one, yeah. This is the one that had all the problems. Yeah, that's right. The metal cap. That's right. So, we're going to have to uh, do a. And I'm going to have to have, have the chimney company liner come in here because you know he's got no liner there. And he just bought the house. He's going to take care of it. Flew for the furnace. Damn, they had a sale on the bubble wrap. <laughs> so we're filling up the water heater. I have no idea what time it is, but let's actually, let's look. 319, holy shit, 319. I think we accomplished all this in about 25 minutes. That's tits. <laughs> That's tits. <laughs> Fucking tits. All right, last touches. Relief valve. Drip leg, relief valve, drip leg. Now the code is, ladies and gentlemen, not to exceed six inches of vertical height from the base of the floor to the top of the pipe, shall not have a means of threaded connection at the end of that discharge pipe, and shall not be smaller than three, three diameter pipe sizes of combined total minimum from floor to relief valve opening bottom. Okay, there we have it. Easy peasy. We'll let this run for 10, 15 minutes, eating into my time away from the pool. But what allows us to check for draft because that needs to be four inch. We'll get it done. Uh, we'll have to have a chimney company come in and redo these linings. But um, that, that's unacceptable being three inch. So as long as I have good draft, um, I am okay with that for a temporary, so temporary because that's been installed for like 14 years and it's always been like, it hasn't been that way. Not an excuse, but 
just keeping it real. Because this is fucking Mikey Pipes, uncensored, uncut, raw, and unedited. Draft test. See, bro? Keep it real. All right? We're good. We're going sucked in there. See? Mike, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't do it by yourself. Good. I tried myself too. I was like, ah, hell no, this ain't happening. <laughs> There's only a few steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. We got this. In fact, we really got this. Mike, guess what? You called me at 224, saying, Mike, we need a new water heater. I called you back at 228 after speaking to the homeowner who basically cried, you know, cried wolf. And I called you at 228. I'll be there in less than half an hour with another water heater. It is exactly, I kid you fucking not, 3 fucking 20. Look at, look at the clock on your iPad. Oh, fuck, I'm off by two minutes. It says 330. That's what you call fucking teamwork, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you call teamwork. That's right, boy. Me and the old old school OG Mike getting it done. Thanks so much for tuning in. Send him an email. <laughs> Mike G at pipedoc.net. If you want him to create his own channel where he can rant and rave about his old crazy political views. Because trust me, it's epic. You got to listen to it. <laughs> Be well. God bless. Stay safe. You know, your YouTube channels. You can't rant. You can't rave. Ten years from now, you're all going to get canceled. Stay off YouTube. Stay <laughs>